I just woke up. I'm just, I'm wearing a hat and my hair is just like really messy. God, I look like a dude with cancer in these caps. Today, we're gonna look at the Elysian Pilgrim. Thank you so much, Hi-Fi Go. And Elysian, this is on tour. I was supposed to receive this at first, but at that time, I just got here in the US and I thought I just didn't have time to do stuff. The box is just pretty straightforward. You get the IMs, you get the case, stuff like that. Regarding the fit, they fit fine, but some of the edges might hurt your ears depending on how deep you insert them because I don't know, like some of like if you insert it wrong, I feel a little bit of strain in my outer ear. They're not sharp, but they're noticeable. They come with spin fit ear tips. Also, they come with it, it's a pentacon connector. It's like MMCX, but the opposite. Uh, yeah. It's like the female one, too, because in the MMCX, you get the female ones on the IMs, like these little, you know what I mean, right? Female, male. But yeah, the female is in the pin. Akostun, I have Akostun. IMs, they use Pentacon because they own, they own the patent on that. They're more stable than MMCX. And moving on to the sound itself, but before that, though. Since I'm showing my face, I think you are obliged for a mandatory subscription now. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not really earning money on this channel. I'm just too lazy to set up everything on YouTube. Yeah, um, maybe in the future, I mean, I have like 1,000 subscribers. Probably I earn more, so that's why I'm kind of like, not really. Maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll set it up, but now, like, all of... I'm not, I'm not earning anything from it. I'm just doing this out of, you know, for fun, sharing my thoughts. I'm not monetized on my videos. But yeah, so much for that. Let's talk about how they sound. I'm starting to make my review more organized now. I'm, na I'm making like, like a flow, okay? So, tonality for the Pilgrim, it's, I'd say it's warm, neutral, or warm. You just say use warm or warm balanced, depending on how it, deep you insert them depending on the ear tips you're using but yeah they're definitely warm um and i say neutral because i don't think the treble is boosted i do find the mids or the vocals to be a little bit recessed but probably it's the insertion depth and the ear tips that you're using they can go really forward if you're using whiteboard tips but yeah the tonality is very refined very matured kind of like mellow soft they're natural sounding but they're soft it doesn't really have a wow factor at first you know like a sugar mommy <laughs> not sorry like a sugar mommy you know like matured mellow but expensive <laughs> No, I, I'm, I'm sorry for the sugar mummies out there. But yeah, they're kind of like, maybe at first they sound boring, but I, I appreciate the tuning. It's very mature. That's the tonality. I give it a three for tonality. Bass is, bass is just there. I mean, it, it has good presence. It's not real because there's a tuck there probably around maybe 200. It's just perfect. It, it, it doesn't bleed into the mids. Enough balance of mid bass and bass. It has its presence, but it's not as dynamic as other IMs. That's what I thought. It's just there. For the bass, I, I'm giving it a 2.5. They're fine. They're, they're well controlled. That's the only thing. I can't give it a perfect 3 because I'm not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying the bass as much as the, the uh, other sets that are cheaper in its price range. Mids are natural sounding. Vocals, they don't crack. No, they don't shriek. So meaning they, they don't have that shout because again, as I've mentioned, the vocals can actually be a little bit recessed at times. I don't know why, but I just thought, oh, okay, the, the vocals. Or maybe like for the previous weeks, I've been listening to the S12 2024s and probably that's what I thought because the vocals on that one are really, really forward. But yeah, it's fine. Mids are fine. Timbre, it's not as natural as I, I thought it would be, but it's not average sounding either. But that's why I'm giving it 2.5 for the mids. So for the treble, they're, again, they're soft. They're soft sounding, but nuanced in a way. I mean, there's no peakiness. The, the overtones are not that forward. I mean, probably that dip there around 6k that cuts the overtones but again they don't have enough gain around 2 to 3k so that's why they sound really really soft 
and it feels like they don't have enough body for symbols yeah it's you can i can still distinguish the the hi-hats the rides stuff like that it, it's well extended but i just thought there's not enough body for the treble yeah so treble it's 2.5 i mean again it's it's well extended but then again it, it's 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 soft in attack it, it's not as incisive as, as as other sets but i appreciate that tuning i like it a lot i mean you can listen to this for hours long without getting any fatigue text the sound stage is a little bit intimate it's it's deeper than wider i compare it with the sl2024 like oh okay it's like, it's like listening to music rather than being in the music per se if that makes sense again is that it has good timbre not the best realism out there when it comes to yeah timbre average imaging it's i wouldn't say it's congested because again it's it's a little bit deeper but the the, the treble extension makes those nuances pop out and it has actually very good note definition and i was listening to many tracks and i feel like i just get redirected to the notes in the guitar the chords and then the guitar tabs stuff like that it's um it's very good. I think like if you're a um, if you play guitars and you know you're doing covers and catching chords, it's, this is gonna be a very good. I am for that. I don't know. Maybe the maker of Elysian is maybe he plays guitar but the note de definition on guitars is just really really good on this one here. What was I listening to? I was listening to Iris. You know Iris Goo Goo Dolls. In the intro, there's this there's ukulele there. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, there's ukulele and I. I think it's not a chord, it's I think it's tab, but for the guitars it's like B, B minor, and then G, B minor, B sustain, and then G. But it and for ukulele it's it's not a chord there. It it should be a tab. Let me listen. Yeah, it's very it's very distinct, you know, like you can really hear you can separate the tone of the guitar and and, and the ukulele which was wow okay I interesting because again the overtones doesn't overlap with the the uh, fundamentals and that's probably why you hear you know the fundamentals really really well so that's nice <laughs> other examples i was listening to uh Rigo. i think paramore my heart ding 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 like the lead intro let me listen to that again yeah the lead the lead intro there it's very clear sounding like the hammering and 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 the plucking it's 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 just it's just so clear with the uh, power more i have more it's on my list because <laughs> I, I i forget things so 311 i'll be here a while there's a faint bass line there in the intro as well that the guitar but there's a but there's a bass line there it goes you know like oh wow like i mean it's so clear the the bass lines were so clear on that i thought it's really good like if if you play music and it doesn't really wow you but when you're catching chords it's it's gonna be an easy task another one that i uh kingslayer by baby metal featuring bring me the horizon i mean if you're a baby metal fan you know but yeah that that track is so noisy it's it's gonna be very very noisy it's so hard to it's almost impossible to follow tabs and chords in that song like it's just so noisy man like a lot of distortion but then ooh, that riff there and then after after the intro it's so clear even if it's less just noise that is a very noisy track a lot of distortion but still um it was it was so um i do say it's i <laughs> The, the notes are very distinct and the chords are very distinct that's what i thought about the pilgrim and i thought that's that, that that is very nice for a set like this so i think i'm gonna give it like three for technicalities although at first you may not because again it doesn't have a wow factor and you may not understand this if you don't play music but if you do you're kind of like appreciate how it how it shows you note definition and stuff like that so i'm giving it a three for for the text but does it get an s i don't think so it's so it's like three for tonality 2.5 for the bass 2.5 for mids 2.5 for treble and three so that's 13.5 i think it's an a plus yeah it's fine it's a plus what i thought it's it's not an s again okay let's move on to the comparisons though so this one is 
probably the reason why it didn't reach an S for me because of the price. This is $399 and there are many sets that probably more fun to listen to. Just for example, the Estelle 2024s, that's like, oh my God, that's my perfect score. Only because it's so fun to listen to, you get very good realism and it's cheaper. People are getting it like 150 in, 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 in Amazon. This one here, it's like for the seasoned audio files. Like if you're, if you're just a beginner, I don't really suggest getting the Elysian because I mean, you can if you have the cash, but I, I don't know, it's just maybe you won't appreciate that one. But for comparisons, I don't have them with me, but the Juice Ear Butterfly, it follows a similar curve, much bassier there. Like the gain, it's, it's pretty similar. I don't know, I didn't really like the butterfly that much. It sounded congested for me. It didn't have enough separation and everything and probably it's because of that high mid bass there. They sound clean but and bassy. It's just maybe the tonality is just not for me. Because my target, you know, like I cut the bass until 150. It's pretty low. Da Vinci. Let's see. Da Vinci. I don't have it with me though. It's still on tour, but it should follow. Yeah, a little bit bassier as well. Da Vinci is more fun sounding though. Like you get that bass, we get some treble sparkle, stuff like that. This is just very refined. Because again, th these two, the, the Just Ear Butterfly and the Da Vinci, these are like U shape, balance sounding, V shape, stuff like that. This is like one warm neutral kind of tuning so I don't, I don't know why I'm comparing that why do I what I have here though is the mega 5p which is which follows a very very close curve let's see there look at that is it oh it's not <laughs> what did I compare it to last time but anyhow yeah you can see there the mid bass in the uh, mega 5p what did I search before though? Let me just double check. I'm sorry, it's not the Mega 5B. It was the Performer 5s. Look at that. Poop right there. See that? It's pretty close. Only that you, you see that elevation there around 7K for the uh, Performer 5. Yeah, it's a little bit unrefined in that area. Tonality wise, it's pretty, pretty close. It's more fun sounding. Again, as I've mentioned, this, this the, the Pilgrim, it's not really for fun. It's not a fun sound. It's a boring sound, but it's as neutral as it can get and warm at the same time, if that makes sense. But I don't have the Performer 5 with me. What else do I need to compare it with? Um, I I think only that man like it's it's expensive i know i'm, I'm running out of thoughts i i think i need more coffee but yeah elysian pilgrim you, i think you 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 need to audition these if, if you really want the sound i mean i've heard the other stuff from them like the diva from timmy when i was in japan they're really refined they are uh, they excel in treble extension and tonality but it's for specific people and i don't know if you can blind buy these because the graph doesn't really tell much because you know I, I, as i've showed you there are many iams that have a similar kind of curve but then on listening it's just different what i like about the pilgrim though it's how it presents note definition and i think it would really benefit a lot of you know musicians not the drummers i i don't like this for drums but yeah for people who are playing guitars and you know bass uh, rhythm acoustics stuff like that it's 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 good so yeah don't forget to subscribe